hi welcome to my channel my name is Donna uh, on my channel today we are going to compare two of the um, specimen folder die sets one from Tim Holtz and one from uh, Timoon Tibu Tibu anyway all right so here we have the Tim Holtz set and it has uh, 54 dies the number is 665930. Now, one thing on the Tim Holtz set that uh, you'll notice is all of his will have, it'll say scissors and it'll have that number right there. Okay, all of them except for these little tiny numbers, these do not, okay? These do not have them. All right, so speaking of numbers, this is the Tim Holtz number. Let me see if I can get a number two here, because uh, one thing about the Tamoons is they're still attached to each other when you get them. Um, some of them I took apart, some of them I didn't because I didn't need to. But here is the difference. This is a number two, and I know it doesn't look like it. But if you flip it over, you'll see that one is the number two. Okay, so on this side, there's less, um, Tim Holtz has less metal in his, and uh, so it is, it seems to be a little easier, a little less messier uh, to pop out, but they are the same size and the same style. So that's the difference there. And these little metal things I was talking about, they're on all of them. If you don't cut them off, uh, they do leave an indention in your paper. Uh, this is 110 pound card stock that I cut out with both dies and um, those can cut you, so I haven't trimmed them all off, but let's move on. So with the folder, you'll notice that Tim's is just a little bit thinner, but it's not really true because the thing is like his cutting edge comes all the way to the edge, so there's less metal. Here, the cutting edge is like right there. It's in the middle here. So th that's where the cutting edge is. They don't, it's all, it's gonna cut out probably the same size I haven't. I've already cut everything out, but I haven't compared those two. I just wanted to give you a little difference here. Now here you'll notice where it's kind of like, it's got two, three little sharp edges right here. Um, you can take a little file, little nail file, and get rid of those, but that's where these were attached. Like, I don't know if it's necessarily this one, but you know, they're attached to each other. Um, I'll show you how they come because I have two of these. I'm gonna give one away. If I can find it. Let me just pause this real quick. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, guys. Thanks so much. Um, okay, so this is the one I got from Tim Moon, and this is how it came. All right, now Tim Holtz did not come like that. His came all in this little envelope, except for this, it came in a little bag, and then it was in a package. And, um, just like that just like these come okay so that's how his come but this will be the one that I do give away um, the same exact one that we're working with here they sell out of these so quickly so people are catching on all right let's get back to the comparison okay, so that is the file folder now, these are little dies. You can put the numbers on. Um, you can um, put the little, where it says respect specimen, recordings, just the names of titles. You can just put these on. Um, there, again, they're the same exact ones. I have a little one stuck in there. That you get on the other side. Okay. Let's see. I think that's it. Okay. 
And these are meant to be windows. These squares are here. These are windows so that you can, you know, create a file, put a window in it. That's what those are meant to be. These are not nesting um, dies. They are different. Um, and if you want to see a video with that, um, let me know and, you know, I'll definitely get on it. But here is our first window. Again, it's got the scissors. Here's the other window. They're the same exact size. Now on this one, and you can't get this confused because they have these sharp edges, this um, cutting edge comes all the way out just like it does on Tim's. We're gonna go over, these is why I got this to begin with, so that's what started it all. Here's the other little window, uh, same thing, Let's see. I mean, there's a little edge right there on this one. It says the scissors. Now when they stamp these, and you can see the indentions here on these, some of them, they're not sharp because they file them off. Uh, that's why they're more expensive, I'm sure. But um, when they create these and the, the, the machine stamps them out, they do all stamp together as well. But just somebody, and there's two sharp edges on that one too. So, you know, you got your pros, you got your cons here. They look like the same window. We're gonna see. Okay, put that one there. Here's the other window, the last one. This feels thinner. This one is definitely um, a thinner and a cheaper one on this one. I can tell with these two. But as far as the same size goes, yeah, they seem to be the same size. Again, I've already stamped them out, so we're gonna check. All right. Now, here are the ones that you get from Tamoon. So you've got this little one, and it's right here because it's got the little corners cut off. Um, let me see if I can find. Oh, there it is, right here. Then you've got this one right there, right? Then you have this one, you have this one, and you have one of those. Can't tell you which one, don't know. Um, and you have this one. Now, these are gonna cut out the same and we'll locate them because one of them, this one cuts out a window and this one does not. It just cuts it out. And this is just like a little indention, like a scoring line. Um, it's just a little indention. So that's those, but they are, they're the same. Um, here we have filed, we've filed there. They don't really look different at all. Now I will show you this. This is one difference. On Tim Holtz, there's a little hole on the back of these. There's holes right here uh, that you poke your tool in to poke things out. On, what do I do with it? On the cheaper one, here it is. On the cheaper one, those holes are different. And in fact, the D on filed, you can't get that out unless you're digging it. So if you're getting it for these little tabs, like I'll show you, words, series, archived, there's filed. If you're getting it for these, for these words, that might be something you wanna take in consideration because I had to dig a couple of those out on the cheaper ones and I did not have to do that on Tim Holtz. But there's the filed, archive, where's that? There's the archived. See how these, I still got stuff in them. The ones on Tim Holtz, if I just poked it, it came right out. Uh, but there's the archived. There's the recorder. There's the specimen right there. Series. 
and collect. So we have all of them, okay? You have one, two, three, four, five, six of the numbers over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, yeah, there it is. And they're the same numbers. This is N0295. Hold on. Well, this is. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. This is a three. Right here, these two are the same. This one is the same. This one is the same. This one is the same. That one. Oh, here it is. No, and this one is the same. Right there. So those are the same. These are the numbers, and we went over the numbers already, and those, they're the same size and everything. They're just a little bit harder to poke out than uh, Tim Holtz. Here are the tabs. Again, they have their stamps on them. These also have the stamps, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And I wonder if there's these. Yeah, and these have the stamp on it, on the back, and it just tells you what they are. You can tell, some of these you can really tell that the um, metal is lighter, but I'm gonna tell you it didn't matter when I was cutting them out. And I was using um, my Spellbinders Platinum um, cut machine. All right, so here's the reason for this at all. And here's the Tim Holtz, and these are lighter. And here's the Tim Moon. These are the same. Again, they have a little bit more metal here because these are cut off on the actual cutting edge. But they're, they appear to be the same on every other way. All right? So that's the comparison of the actual dies. Now let's compare how they cut and if they were the same size when they came out. I'll be right back. All right, guys, thanks. Okay, now for the next part, the comparison. Okay. All right. <laughs> These are the ones that were cut out by the, the moon, the cheaper one. Okay, this is just the numbers and you can see little indentions here and here, here, here. Just like little places where I just didn't take that extra little metal piece off. In case you're wondering, this is what I use to take it off. The tip is kind of magnetic, so any little charge, any little tips, um, I can quickly grab them and just put them in the trash so they don't get away from me. But here they are. And you can see they cut out all the numbers three times because they're three, they're all the same size, the numbers are the same size. I guess because they're so small, they know that we're probably gonna lose them, so there you go. So here is the um, ones that I cut out for Tim Holtz. You don't have the little dots there or anything of that sort. And you're meant to use this part, and I will say that on Tim's, there is a little uh, indention here, a little score line type thing. And then on the other ones here, there's not. And if there is, it's so faint, I can't see it. So uh, that would not bother me at all. That wouldn't bother me one bit. Um, and it doesn't seem to be on all of them. Because it's, it's on this one, but it's not on that. And it's just like a little indention. In fact, I might not even like that part. But anyway. And again, these dies... Some of them were at least easier than others. Um, for here, on the cheap ones, some of these were at least easier than others. Tim Holtz released very well. There was like a little hole you could poke them each one, okay? So there's our difference there. And there's the numbers. You can see they're the same size. As I'm looking, oh, there's the fours. It's like, there's no fours. And I must be missing a four because I only see two here. One, two, three. I'm sure I've dropped it. I'll find it. 
Okay. And that's the cheap ones. Uh, these are. These are not. Okay. All right. These are the tiny little letters. Um, I just kept them for your benefit. I'm not going to use these. Um, if I am ever going to use them, I will cut them out one at a time, not all of them at one time. Um, but you have the little dots here, and those are part of right here. See, so like that. That you're going to need that little dot. Um, here's the number eight, and it's these dies. See how this is all wonky now? I had to dig that out and rip it, so that was unfortunate. Um, just looking through these to see if I have another, and I don't even actually have another eight. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, so here's another eight, though, and it came out fine. I mean, I need to put the center part out, but there we go. It came out fine, so, you know, this one did not. So if I go to use that die again, I'll have to look at it. If, if these actually look like they're a little bit different size. It's just my eyes, I'm sure. Yeah, no, they're the same size. All right. And then on here, on this side, same size number, same size everything. Um, I haven't poked the number, the, the little hole out on any of these. Uh, if it came out, it came out. If it didn't, it didn't. But there's the R. So those came out pretty good. Again, I'm not going to keep them. I just wanted to show them. And now they're going to go in the trash. If I were going to use one of them, then I would... Um, cut them out separately so I don't have so many. So let's just go ahead, get rid of all of these. I don't need them. Great for confetti though. I mean, if you're using, you know, you're making a shaker card or something, you could definitely use them. Um, I don't know how they would turn out on the holographic cardstock, but if they did, you know, I'm sure if you go run it through your machine uh, a couple times. And all these little tiny letters, uh, the little tag things, they I ran them through three times on each. I tried to do one, but some of them came out and some of them didn't. So I did have to run them through three times each. All right, so I have the best for last. We'll set this over here. Okay, here are our windows. Now one of these windows came out of the specimen right here. Now I'm noticing that these all have like a little indention, whereas these do not. There's not, like it's just a clean cut on these. Where Tim Holtz has like the little indention there. I'm not sure if that's a, for me, I don't think I would like, I would rather have the clean cut to be honest, because I can use those for different things. Right. But let's take a look here. These, same size. These are the same, same size. And I'm sure this is the, that one, yeah, flip it over. Same size, I do have a little mark right there, but that's probably because I still have a piece of metal somewhere or it was in my die cuts. Same size. And this is the hole here in the, um, specimen slide. So I'm good. I will go back and clean mine when I'm using them as I'm using them because I'm not getting, I mean, there's just too many. There's 54 of them. There's a bunch of little silver little tags, metal tags that need to be clipped off, but you can see the difference here. See, it's almost like that's just, you know, that would mess it up. But Tim Holtz doesn't have it. Already comes out clean. Most of the uh, sides have been shaved and uh, filed down so they're not dangerous but those are all and they but they're the same size so there you go same size let's go ahead and get to the file folder because I'm going to use those to store my dies in okay so we'll go like this here we are so there is like a little frame around Tim Holtz and some dentures is what I call them, but it almost looks like a frame. It's uh, 
very slight on the Timon, it's cheaper wood. Um, and again, I think I like this one better. But let's see how they fold. I also got this from Timon. It is a very cheap bone folder. I don't recommend getting it if you're going to use it on a scoring board because it's too thick to uh, get in the scoring board. But it is big to use to do varnishing. Okay. And let's fold this way. We're going to fold it like this. Is this not? This is not. It went like this. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Same size, same fold, everything. So this has like a little frame around it. And on this, I'm gonna prefer the Timo, Timu. Not saying it right, Timu. All right, so go ahead and I'm gonna put my little windows in here. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, now let's get to the good stuff. We're gonna look at these. Now this one's poked out because I did not take it apart. I should have taken this apart, otherwise that would just been a solid tab, like this one, okay? So that's where these two are gonna be the same. I just did not remove that. These are the same size, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do all of that, but I'm just going to, I wanna look, especially for the indention, a uh, little frame around them that's inside, to see what the difference is. These two are, neither one of them, have really any, and if, is it me, guys? There we go. Tim Holtz did not cut as clean as this one. Like you can see it. Can you see that there? I'll take a screenshot or a close-up photo of these two. I'll just set these to the side here um, because I want to show you that. That does not look clean. That would drive me crazy. And that's on the Tim Holtz side. Let's look at the other ones. Here's our tab, let's look at our tab. These are not cutting as clean, there's still some here. Can you see that? Like, I mean, if I didn't see how clean this one was, I guess it wouldn't bother me, but these are not as, these are not, and they I, I put them through the same amount of time. They just look fuzzy around these edges. I'll take a photo later and show you what I'm talking about so you'll see. Okay, here we are. This one, Tim Holtz. There is an indention around here. There's also an indention around here as well. Now you could... I have to be careful not to get these confused. You could like stamp this out in a different color and then um, put like some, you know, a number behind there or something and um, use it, like if you're making those little um, boxes to hold the folders or little drawer tabs or something, uh, that'd be very cute. This one, and also has, also comes with that too. Let's see if it actually, yeah, so these numbers would actually even fit in here, so that's cute. Not unhappy with that. Still though, the cheaper one looks like it came in with a cleaner cut, and I'm, I'm gonna look at that and take photos to show you guys I'm not crazy. Okay, here are these two, this one, and here. Again. We're gonna see. Okay, just take a... like that but this one was over here I'm sorry and it's the same though these edges are just not that one's a little it's a little raw and that came out of the center which is right here so that's all of those
All right, and then we're down to the numbers. That is all of those. I'm looking for three fours over here to see where I lost it. I only have two fours, so I don't have to search for that one. I cannot, it, it drives me mad. If I don't have them all together, it will drive me insane. Let me make sure there are four. One, two, three. Yeah, there's four over here. So I'm missing a die. This is the third time I try to fit in the studio though. So, all right, so this went through one time. I have not done anything to them. I haven't poked the hole out or anything of that sort. Uh, as you can see over here, there's only two that did not come and these are the cheaper ones. So Tim, Tim Moo. And here's Tim Holtz. They both have the indentions on the side. That one was a little harder to get off. It has this edge. Like, are y'all seeing that edge? I'm not going to take it off because I want to. I want to do a close-up of them. These do not have it. The cheaper ones don't have it. And the the indentions are a little bit more prominent on the temples. They are the same size. Let's see how they fold though, because. Actually, you know what, that, this window, Tim Holtz, might just be a tiny bit less than an eighth of an inch bigger. So that might be, yeah, because the little hole here, it's just a little bit bigger than this one. Let's see how they fold. Because I did one of these, like I said the other day, and it did not fold as evenly as I liked, but I think it was me, I don't think it was, uh, I want these all to match up. And that's just that's just not matching up as easy. Let's see if this one does. This doesn't match up at all either. So and I did, I folded it back this way first so I could make sure and see how the hole's off. So this is off, they're both off. So that's just not, and I see where it should be. So I could definitely put it on my scoreboard and just rescore that. There we go, that should be good. I'm not going to want to mess with it like this. I mean, I'm just being honest. I am not going to want to do that. So I will have to find out where the uh, middle mark is. Um, and write it on a template or something. So that when I go to score it, score it right. Because that would drive me mad. And this one is not as bad. I feel like it was yesterday, though, or the other day, whenever I did it. But this one just isn't as bad as Tim Holtz. But there you have it. I mean, now let me show you what the biggest difference between these two are. Because we've seen what they kind of are. Let's do this. Here we go. Tim Holtz, scrapbook.com. This is what we have from Tim Holtz. Okay, it is $26.96. 
the packaging is even a little different here, but they're all there. They may have just re-released these, or this might be the original release. I'm not sure. Actually, I actually bought this on Amazon. I bought three packs. Um, I'll be sending them back, though. I'm not keeping them. That's, that's too much. Looks like AliExpress, you can get them for $4.94. Simon says they're $30. Okay, to Moon, let me see here. T Mu, cannot say that right. Here we go. This is T Mu site. If there's a glare, I'm sorry. Um, $4.48. I have an order here I just placed, so it's saying if I add it to my order, it'll be $14.35, but I do not need to do that. And if you keep looking, and it shocked me as well, keep going. There you go. This is Tim Holt's photo. This is this photo. Thing is, is, it matches this photo more than it did the other one, but it's the same stuff. It's the same pack. It's the same dies. It's crazy, huh? They're using that. Now there's another one in here as well of Tim's, um, and I got this. I got this because it came in a bundle of three, and I didn't really care about this one so much because I have an envelope maker, but I think that um, I'll get the one on the other site and also send this one back. You can make stamps. Look at this, cool. And there's 49 dies in here. Uh, and I can show you on this site. And they are at $4.88. Apparently this is a Mother's Day thing sale, so um, look out for that. Also, you know, the thing is uh, for Mother's Day, the sales, they can, they'll come and go. They will come and go. So I'm looking on the Tim Holtz here. They only have one hand. No, there's two hands. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, let's keep looking. Here this is, same one, same picture they're using. And of course, this is comparable to, this is scrapbook.com. These are the same exact ones. These are on sale for $26.96. Typically, they're $30. You do the math. I mean, you can really literally get both of these for less than $10. Whereas you buy them and it's got the scissors stamp on it, it's going to be $60 if they're not on sale. So, you do the math. And, uh, it team also has free shipping, which is really good. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I was shocked. Um, I also got this uh, specimen in um, another brand as well. It wasn't. I was thought it was Chaos Crafts, but it's not. Um, but Chaos Craft does have one, and I will show you what the difference is between. Uh, the Tamoon and then that one in another video. But anyway, if you like my video, uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Have a great day.